down. And so anytime you can get points on the board before you get on the field, it's a good feeling. Through the air, first down. Urzua, and it's intercepted. Trey Morrison, first play from scrimmage. And Wingate's going to be set up with great field position inside the 25. Great execution defensively. Corbin to pass, gets the pressure off the left side, escapes the pocket to his right, outside the hash. Anderson hounding down, he throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted! Justin Armwood seals it on homecoming weekend. He's going to run this one to the 40. Now across midfield, he's got a convoy to the end zone. Justin Armwood, touchdown! Wingate's going to win it! Oh, what a play! What a play! Third down and 10. The line to gain is the Wingate four yard line. We're really between the three and the four. Here's the third down play. Big time sack. So Rod Cook and a huge loss. Back to the 25. Second and eight. Corbin escapes the pressure to his right. Takes a hit as he throws. What a catch by Parham as he brings it down inside the 15. He mossed mm. on Bowles. Big play. <laughs> that was the, the period. And make a way. Weren't able to convert the touchdown there last time in the red zone. Here's third and goal from the five. This might be their best chance to do it here. Crocker looking to pass. Over the middle has Mobley at the goal line, and he's in for the touchdown. That was a tough catch right there. That was an easy catch. Going. Willingham moves back to the gun. Graduate student quarterback from Matthews, North Carolina, dialing it up. DeAndre Lester, touchdown Bears. 47 yards. And Lester strikes. It's 20 to six, 109. Yep, that was a good play. That was a great play call. Trying to get his team across the finish line, win a sack title, potentially go to the NCAA playoffs. It could all come down to fourth and goal from the 12. Three receivers in the formation to the right side. A lot of noise being made in here today. Gervin at the left hip of Jimmy Urzua. Fourth down. Look at a throw. Got time. End zone. Knocked down. Jaquan Edwards again breaks up the pass and a huge turnover on down. So Movement on the outside. Snap is off. It's a free play. Free play as Corbin chucks it for Parham to the end zone and it's caught for the touchdown. 56 yards. It was a free play. Parham goes up on Owens and brings it down. Tusculum has the lead. Mm, that was beautiful. That was one of those veteran players on this Wingate team. The red shirt senior from Apex, North Carolina. Here's first and ten. Satterfield to the end zone. Touchdown, Wingate. Trevor Grant wide open. And the Bulldogs take the lead, 9-7. to seven. What a gift to give right there. Going out on your last, your last game. We're on the field pregame ahead of Wingate against Lenore Ryan. I'm Joe Skinner with Matthew Gibson. Donnie Sherrell will also be a part of our broadcast team at 6 o'clock on SAC Live. Matthew, this is a rivalry that you've played in. Lenore Ryan against Wingate, top rivalry in the conference. What goes through your mind ahead of a game like this? Well, the Bears sport one of the league's best offenses. They're tops in running, top in scoring, tops in total yards. It's a prolific offense. How do you start to slow that down from the Wingate defensive side? Tune in to SAC Live with me, Matthew, and Donnie at 6 o'clock for the game. Wingate against Lenore Ryan. We'll see you there. Here on the Wingate wrap-up after Wingate was able to take a win on homecoming against Tusculum. I'm with head coach Joe Wright. Coach, first things first, we got to start with the last play of the game. Justin Armwood, 94-yard interception return. What was going through your mind from pre-snap to as it was going on? Um, Just in homecoming, coming into this game, didn't unfold like the type of a game that no. had the conference's two best defenses. No. What did you just see as the game evolved where it's turning into a shootout? Wingate football, 4-0, ranked in the top 10. They travel to Limestone next week. Coach, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Start of the fourth quarter at Irwin Belk Stadium. Wingate leading by two touchdowns. 
Mars Hill threatening. Joe Skinner, Matthew Gibson, our producer, LaVonda Briggs. First and ten play. Urzua just under throws Thompson. Good job in coverage there in the back. That was Jaheim Mullen, but it was a little bit underthrown. Second and ten. Yeah, it's been a few underthrown balls in this game that right there, that underthrown ball, that puts them right at the edge of the goal line. But it's getting interesting. Mars Hill's starting to get back their confidence. Let's see how they finish out this drive. Three receivers in this formation, but bunched towards the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Wingate bringing the blitz. Quick pass over the middle. In and out of the hands of Marquise Williams as Urzua felt the heat right away. Third and ten. That was a good call by Coach Jordan bringing in the blitz. It's actually a perfect timing, right? Switch up their cadence, and instead of sitting back and watching the offense throw the ball, they bring in pressure to make them do a quick delivery, make you get your timing out a little faster. Bring it again here on third and ten. Oh, yeah. uh, I wouldn't bring it right here. Okay. I, I wouldn't bring it. I wouldn't bring no pressure right here. Four receivers in this formation. Oh, they brought it. They brought it. They brought it. They brought it. Justin Armwood, huge sack. Back to the 40-yard line. Loss of 13, and it's fourth down. That's textbook right there. That's how you blitz. When you come off the edge, he timed it up perfectly, got the rhythm of the cadence. As the ball was snapped, he was already in the backfield. The offensive lineman had no, had no chance. Good execution by Justin Armwood right there. That's a big-time playmaker right there. Offense still on the field. Ball marked. At the Wingate 39, it is fourth and 22. They got to get all the way to the 17. Urzua, pressure from the left side. He's taken down again. Sarad Cook back in from injury. Two straight sacks. And Wingate turns him over on down. That's how you play football right there. If you are Wingate's defense, you should be giving yourself a pat on the back. That's two great plays right there, back-to-back, -back, stepping up. Now, offense has to just kind of reciprocate that energy as well. All momentum on the Wingate sideline right now, up 26-12, to 12, just over a minute gone in the fourth quarter. Shaw Crocker and the offense back on, trying to put this game on ice with a two-touchdown lead. You already know how I feel, Joe. Dial it up. Why not? They did it their last drive. Took a shot on first down. Raquan Simmons drew a pass interference penalty. Let's see if they go with it again. Grant in motion. This time they keep it on the ground with Clark. Yes, sir. Makes a cut across midfield. Solid gain there on first down. As the Mars Hill tackler slow to get up. It was number 11 Fitzpatrick on the tackle. He is up and ready to go. Second down and two. Good gain for Clark on first down. He's had a solid day. Yeah, he has. He's, he's excited to be back. It's his last game of the season right here. He said, I'm going to run hard and try to make the most of, especially being hurt throughout this year. He's going to make the most of this last game. Didn't play two weeks ago against LR. Here's second and two. Crocker going to run himself. Takes a hit. Then he get the first down. It's going to be close. And they will move the chains. He just gets enough time, enough yards, excuse me, before Miles Harris is able to bring him down. First and 10. Yep, so first down. Wingate's doing a good job right here. They're starting to get in the huddle, slow it down a little bit. Obviously, they have some momentum, but they're going to slow it down to try to eat away some time off that clock. Couple of run plays, maybe drawn in that defense for your big shot here. Yep. Maybe look out for the play action here. First and 10. Watch out for Kamal Desor. Also have Grant with three touchdowns and a one-on-one -on, -one on the bottom of your screen. It is a play action. Flag flies. Pressure off the left side. Gets it away. Caught by Grant at the near sideline. And he is taken down out of bounds by Sanderson. We'll check on that penalty. Shaw Crocker took a big hit at the end of that one. We await the call here. It came out from the line judge on the near side. That goes against Wingate as some fans down in front of us voice their frustration. <laughs> they are upset about that. <laughs> <laughs> they were upset. Hey, there's not much to be upset about so far today for Wingate. Oh. They have a two-touchdown lead, 12 and a half to go. Now they push themselves back 
with a pre-snap penalty. First down and 15. Pistol formation with Peoples behind Crocker. Give goes to Peoples. Looks like a little bit of a mix-up in the backfield, and that one goes nowhere. Tackle for a loss by Honeycutt. Yeah, a little, uh, the snap exchange right there. The snap was a little bit to the left, threw off the timing of the handoff between Shaw Crocker and Najib Peoples. Second and 16. People staying in the game. Now Simmons in at wide receiver. Lined up in the slot to the right of the formation. You want to see them be able to get a big chunk of yardage right here. Make third down accessible for them. Three minutes gone in the final quarter from Irwin Belk Stadium. Wingate by two touchdowns against Mars Hill. Crocker looking to throw. Quick pass out to the near side, and it is in and out of the hands again of Austin Kane. Looks like it hit him in the chest, but couldn't bring it in third and long. Hit him right in the chest. I tell you what, Austin Kane is going to be on some jug machines this offseason, right? Just working on his hand-eye coordination. Make sure he can catch them balls. He had a few big plays this today that I know he wish he could have back. He's gotten significantly a lot more playing time in the yeah. second half after starting tight end Ryder Martin came out with a shoulder injury right before halftime. Third and 16, ball just on the Mars Hill side of the field near midfield. Wingate, 6 for 12 on third down today. Trying to go north of 50% here. Here's the third down play. A lot of time for Crocker. Looking for Simmons, and it is overthrown. Jackson in coverage. He had him right there, just a little off, off target with it. If he could bring that ball down a little bit lower and lead him just a tad bit more, he could have completed that ball. It's good coverage, though, by the defender. And for the third straight possession, Wingate will have to punt. Right near midfield, ball marked to the Mars Hill 49. Evans standing at his own 36 with McAdoo back deep. Three on the play clock here. They're going to have to get this one off. And they do not get it off in time unless Wingate took a timeout first. The flag was way back behind McAdoo, the returner. Will be a delay of game against Wingate. It's the second delay of game they've taken on a punt so far today. You're not really in part of the field where you would want to maybe give yourself more space. Right. Either way, it pushes them back five yards. Oh. Ooh, not a good punt that time from Evans. As he shanks that one into the Mars Hill bench. We'll see where they mark this one. It could be out near the 45. So the referee is still moving inside the 45. He'll mark it at the 47. For all the great punts we've seen from Ethan Evans this season, he was due for one like that as he comes back to the sideline with his head hanging low. He's human. <laughs> he certainly is human. First and 10 for Mars Hill. It happens, though. Starting to run out of time if you're a Lions fan. 11.15 to go. They trail by two scores. Every play, one play at a time is what the Mars Hill offense is thinking. One play at a time. First down pass, finds Williams, and he stays in bounds. 11-yard gain. Richardson in coverage. Looks like he might have slipped. As there wasn't a lot of coverage there at the time of the catch. First and ten. Rizzo stepping up in the pocket. He's hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage by Fleming. It's a way to shed the block by, by Fleming and make a good play right there. If you're Mars Hill, you can't take too many of those. You have you can't take it because they're going to keep the clock running. Not only will it keep the clock running, you don't get to execute the play that you had drawn up second and ten a couple of receivers on the bottom of the formation Arzua over the middle finds his man Williams with a catch inside the 20 it's been a big day for Williams that was a good catch right there over the middle mister over the middle that's what we should start calling him as a lot of his completions have been over the middle for significant games just like that 
season high in reception yards for Williams. Six catches for 157 yards. Now going back to the end zone. He hauled it in. Did he stay in bounds? Okay. Touchdown, Mars Hill. Williams again. And finally, the Lions offense finds the end zone. We got a ball game, folks. We have a ball game. That was great execution. Two plays in a row. They did what they needed to do. 18-yard pitch and catch. Urzua to Williams. It is 26-18. to 18. With the extra point coming to try and make it a seven-point game. Great drive for Marquise Williams. Extra point on the way. And it is good. Seven-point game. Ten minutes, ten seconds to go. 26 to 19. We certainly have ourselves a ball game, and that drive was all about Marquise Williams. Yes, sir. Seven grabs, 175 yards, and a touchdown. That is a game high in all of those numbers. A 13 play, 69 yard scoring drive for Wingate as they take a 7 0 lead. Joe Skinner with Matthew Gibson and Donnie Sherrill. Matthew, it was just a clinical opening drive for Wingate. Yeah, precision execution in a lot of ways. Uh, they had a great time of possession right there, and that's how you take off time off the clock and allow your defense time the rest of the day can get another three and out coming back out. Ethan Evans, a touchback on the opening kickoff. Boots this one deep. And again, unreturnable as it drops in the end zone. Tusculum went three and out on offense on their first possession. Went through the air on every play. Didn't get a chance to see any of the Tusculum running backs that had a stable of them against Newberry. Three different running backs had eight carries in last week's 24-19 loss. And Coach Odom, he speaks highly of his running back, but historically, Tusculum has been a, a team that has thrown the ball. They have been an air attack team, and I, will, I, I would imagine on his first play, you would see something similar. Courtney Jackson is in at running back here on the second drive, first and 10 from the 25. Again, back to the air. This time finds the reliable one. Parham, as he turns on the Jets, is able to get by. I believe that was Mosley. No, that was Duran Balls in the coverage for a big first down play. Yeah, that was a great job by Parham. Simple uh, simple in route right there. Catch the ball and get upfield as fast as he can. He definitely has burners. So once he catches the ball, he's getting that yak, that yards after catch. Here's another first and 10 play. This time they keep it on the ground with Jackson, who gets a couple of yards. Jackson and something that Jerry Odom, when we talked to him earlier this week, admitted he has had trouble keeping the ball off the turf three fumbles and one of them lost this season he's fumbled in each of the last three games so it's something to keep an eye on as he rotates his running backs yeah it is trust is a big thing in any relationship so in football if you can't hold the ball you don't have a lot of trust in someone second and eight corbin escapes the pressure to his right takes a hit as he throws what a catch by parham as he brings it down inside the 15 he mossed or on bowels. Big play. <laughs> that was the, the purest definition of a moss that you could say. That was a great play right there. You could tell those two have a good connection, right? He threw it on the run, directing him go a little bit further. Way to make a play by par him right there. Mossed him. 38-yard gain, and now the Pioneers are set up in the red zone from the 12. Jackson with the carry. Gets through the line of scrimmage up to the seven-yard line. Taken down in the secondary. That was a good run right here. Like I say, you know, any, any form or any team, this is the hardest part, the hardest place to score on the field because you don't have a lot of, a lot of field to work with. Another run for Jackson. Bounces off of Bowles. Was the ball on the ground? Again, Wingate trying to say... That the ball came out and they have it, but it looks like Tusculum will keep it. They will have first down and goal. Jackson almost lost another one there. If only challenges in Division Two are a thing. I tell you what, though, because, you know, like we said, he has some trouble holding the ball. Even that little glimpse will probably get him pulled out of the game. You know, it's one of those things where tuck the ball, this is the most important part of the field. You have to protect it. You think no chance he sees the ball here on first down after that? I'm not.